In the mythical world of ancient China, a land of legendary monsters, evil witches, and sinister villains, the wise monk Tripitaka and his protector Monkey set out on a treacherous journey in search of the fabled Scrolls of Wisdom. Joined by Pigsy and Sandy, these four companions travel together through this strange and magical world, enduring perilous adventures and dangerous adversaries on their mission for the Emperor and all of China. The Legends of the Monkey King is China's greatest story. It is an expedition unlike any other ever taken. It is the journey to the West. Monkey and Sandy had defeated the Wizard of the Well in the Land of Women. Now they brought healing water to Pigsy for his indigestion. Huh? Oh, did you get the water? It's right here. <laughs> well, Pigsy, tell me, are you feeling better? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Much better! The Master will be very pleased to hear it. Oh, yes! Master! Honorable sir, shall we take some fresh air? Master! Huh? Come and hear the good news! <gasps> Master! Oh! There you are. Monkey and Sandy brought me some healing water. The indigestion is gone. My <laughs> belly feels as good as new. Really? What about the wizard? We chased him away. The well of purity is safe once again. That's wonderful. I shall see to it that you're rewarded. Uh, I mean by the queen. <clears throat> There's no need for that. Honored monk, the courage of your companions is exceeded only by your wisdom. May I venture to hope that we will meet again tomorrow? I'm afraid my friends and I are leaving the land of women and continuing our westward journey after we pay our respects to the Queen. The Queen? How interesting. The next day, Tripitaka and his companions arrived at the royal palace of the land of women. As they arrived, the Queen's chief minister came forward to meet them. Greetings, distinguished pilgrims. Her Majesty is most eager to see you. We're honored. She will receive you now. Lead the way. The four companions were led through the great stone arch of the palace and into the gilded throne room. They came before the queen and recognized her as the nobleman from the night before. Huh? Well, well, we meet again. Only this time I'm not in disguise. Your trick deceived us. I would never have guessed that the nobleman was actually a queen and a lovely one at that. For having defeated the evil wizard, the brave monkey and Sandy, along with their friend Pigsy, are asked to come to the banquet hall for a feast. A feast? Perfect timing! I'm starved! Which way to the banquet hall? I will take you to the banquet hall. Please follow me. Can our master come with us? If you don't mind, your master will stay here. I would enjoy having another conversation with him. But, oh, uh, all right, Master, why don't you stay here with the Queen, and we'll see you after the feast is over. The Queen led Tripitaka to her private chamber, where he saw a portrait of himself dressed as a king. I had the court painter do that. I am no king, I am a monk. But you could be a king, Tripitaka, if you agreed to wed a queen. I can't. But the Queen did not listen to Tripitaka's words. In her eagerness to make him want to be her husband, she danced for him. It was a dance of beauty, a dance of joy, a dance of love. And as suddenly as it had begun, it was over. Huh? Honorable Tripitaka, you must come with me to the royal seamstress. She will fit you with new silken robes to wear when you marry our queen. No, I cannot. She's already set the wedding day. It's next week. It cannot be. And as we speak, your three companions are being sent on their way. So you see, whether you like it or not, you are going to wed our queen. Huh? Monkey, Pigsy, and Sandy were enjoying their feast, especially Pigsy. Yeah. You know, Monkey, I wouldn't mind giving up our journey and staying here. We could eat all... Oh. 
don't you want to stay? We can't stay. Hmm, Sandy, what about you? What do you say? It would be nice, but... Um... But what? But we can't stay here. We have to continue our journey in search of the Books of Wisdom. No. Friends of Tripitaka? No. It is time for you to leave. As a parting gift, the Queen would like to offer you 1,000 gold pieces. We're not going anywhere without our master. You have no choice. Your master is marrying the Queen, so he'll be staying here while you three continue your westward journey. I don't believe you for a second. We want to see our master right now. Out of the question. So leave now or I will have to throw you out. Huh? huh? They're gonna throw us out? <laughs> I'd just like to see them try. Why, with one hand tied behind my back, I Betsy, could... Betsy, huh? we don't want any trouble here. If you don't want trouble, you should leave now. Hmm? No. Don't try my patience, I warn you. Captain, I have a challenge for you. Hitch the two strongest camels in the land to a rope, then tie the rope around my waist. What is the point of this challenge? If those camels can make me budge, my friends and I will leave this land without the master. And if they fail? <laughs> then the master comes with us. And so, the challenge was accepted. Monkey, are you ready? Yes, Captain, I'm ready. Time's up. Well, Captain, it looks like I win, and that means the master comes with us. Your master is going to marry the queen. We'll see about that, Captain. We'll just see about that. That same evening, the queen went to the inn where Tripitaka was being kept under guard and tried to convince him to change his mind. A monk should always help others. That's right. Then why won't you help this land and be its king? I need you by my side, Tripitaka. I can't marry you. I have a higher duty to fulfill. I must seek the books of wisdom in India. You're a stubborn man, but I'm very patient. I know you'll come around. You're wrong. My mind is made up, and my three companions are counting on me. I'm counting on you too, and I'm offering you the crown of a great land. Only you'll marry me. I'm not leaving this room until you change your mind. The night wore on, hour after hour, but neither Tripitaka nor the Queen would relent. <gasps> Disguised as an insect, Monkey came to see what was going on. Your Majesty. This is pointless. Go back to the palace and get some rest. I already told you, I'm not moving until you change your mind. Huh? What have I done to deserve such unkindness? Oh, Tripitaka, I don't want to be unkind to you. All right then, I'll go. Tripitaka was all by himself. Or so he thought. Master! Huh? I hope I didn't startle you. Monkey, old friend. <laughs> I'm in trouble. The queen is bent on marrying me. Uh, and you're bent on refusing. We have to break the stalemate. Yes, but how? Hmm. I have it. We'll tell her you've changed your mind. What? He's changed his mind, really? Yes, your majesty. He will help you to rule the land of women wisely. This is truly a great day for all of us. Yes, it certainly is. Tripitaka, I'm very grateful to you. And I would be grateful to you if you would let my companions leave tomorrow. Your Majesty, shall I arrange a ceremony to bid the travelers farewell? Mm, yes, good idea. If you don't mind, you and I will ride along with my three friends for some distance to see them off on their journey. After a magnificent farewell ceremony, Monkey, Pigsy, and Sandy set out once more toward the west. The Queen and Tripitaka were riding behind in a carriage to see them off, or so the Queen believed. But Monkey had planned for Tripitaka to escape once they were out of sight of the palace. Stop! Master, get down. It's time to go. What? Sorry, Your Majesty. We're leaving. <clears throat> 
deceiving you was the only peaceful way to free myself. To free yourself? But I thought you wanted to marry me. Monks don't get married. I'm truly sorry. Wait! <laughs> huh? I am the Scorpion Witch! <laughs> and you belong to me! <laughs> oh. uh, master! The queen tried to give chase, but the scorpion witch used her magic powers to fly out of sight. No! Your majesty! Huh? Please, go back to your palace. We'll rescue our master from that witch. Yeah, that's right. And then we'll continue on our journey to India. You lied to me. How could you? You gave us no choice. How else could we leave without a fight? Uh, <gasps> uh, uh, hey, cut it out! Uh, uh, oh, look at her, Sandy. She's pretty good with that spear. Uh, uh, Your Majesty, I think someone ought to go save my master. You're right. We'll all face the Scorpion Witch together. Hmm. Oh, no. You're going back to your palace. Fine, Monkey. Anything you say. As Monkey, Pigsy, and Sandy flew off, they thought the queen was on her way home. Yeah! But this time, she had lied to them. She was speeding after them to help rescue Tripitaka. The evil scorpion witch had captured Tripitaka and brought him to her cave. Monkey, Pigsy, and Sandy arrived at the cave entrance, knowing that a rescue would not be easy. You two stay here. I'm going to sneak inside. Good luck! The scorpion witch was feeling pleased with herself. She had decided to marry her prisoner. <laughs> My dear future husband, tell me, do you love your new home? Hmm? Don't you give me the silent treatment! I like my husband's talkative! Sit down! You better enjoy eating rotten fruit, that's all you'll be eating from now on! Would he like some fresh food instead? No, servant girl, I eat rotten fruit and so will he! Hmm. What'll we start with? Rotten banana. Release him! Now! Release Trippy Tucker? <sighs> no! In that case, I'll have to force you! The struggle spilled out the cave door to where Pigsy and Sandy were waiting. It looks to me like Monkey could use some help! <laughs> Surrender, Scorpion Witch! I won't surrender to a loudmouth pig! Oh, you asked for it! Hey, Monkey, I'm thinking things really hot for the witch! Huh? Where'd she go? <laughs> Making things hot, are you? Huh? <laughs> Who's hot now? You'll pay for that! I'm feeling kind of warm here! Pixie, uh -oh. jump in the water! Huh? Oh. Oh. Where's all the water going? The water was being sucked up by Sandy, who had decided that the only way to resist the Scorpion Witch's firepower was to give her a good soaking. No, oh, I hope he doesn't get scorched! You think you can defeat me? Good work, Sandy! Huh? Oh, 
Where'd she go? There! <laughs> I'm not beaten yet! <laughs> One blow from her scorpion tail, not monkey flat. Oh, no you don't! Don't you know it's not nice to hit a monkey when he's down? While Pixie and the witch struggled, Sandy carried Monkey to safety. When she saw that Pixie was a skilled opponent, the witch used her scorpion tail once again. The queen of the land of women had come to face the witch. Her arrival gave Pixie a chance to escape and rejoin his companions. But the brave queen was no match for the scorpion witch. Oh. Oh. Foolish queen, you are my prisoner! Oh. <laughs> Sandy and Pigsy carried Monkey to a quiet spot by the river. Little by little, Monkey regained consciousness. Monkey, you all right? Oh, yes, I think so. The Scorpion Witch packs quite a punch with that tail of hers. Yeah, she used it against me. I'd have been in trouble if the Queen hadn't hmm? come along. The Queen? But I thought she was going home to her palace. Lucky for me, she didn't. She must have followed us to the Witch's cave to rescue the Master. She must really be in love with them. Now she's a prisoner, too. Hmm, now we have to rescue both of them. The question is, how do we do it? To rescue them, we must defeat the witch, and that means putting out her breath of fire. But to do that, we're gonna need plenty of water. Let's search around for the best place to lay our trap. Good idea. We have a guest. Uh, 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 Taka. Uh, 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 you all right? Mm. I came to save you, but failed. I'm sorry to have caused you so much trouble. <laughs> Your Majesty, you seem quite fond of my future husband. Your what? <laughs> That's right, Chupitak is going to marry me, dear Queen. I think he needs a good wife, and he certainly isn't going to marry you. You can't be his wife, you're a hideous witch! You have the nerve to call me hideous? I'm going to make you pay for your insolence! Leave her be! Why, Trippy Tucker, you saved the Queen from my wrath. Are you perhaps in love with her? No, I'd have done it for anyone. But she's special to you. She is special to a great many people. After all, she is a queen. Yes, she's a queen. But she's also a woman of great beauty, not a hideous witch like me. Or hadn't you noticed? Physical appearance is a quality that fades, an illusion. What matters is the virtue in a person's heart. Oh, really? You don't care whether a woman is ugly or beautiful? No, what's important isn't beauty, but goodness. Well, if what you say is true, then it doesn't matter if the queen loses her looks. Huh? She called me hideous. Now I think I'll make her hideous. <gasps> <laughs> your heart may be as virtuous as ever, O oh queen, but your beauty is gone. Here, see for yourself. Huh? Oh, I want everyone to look at you, Your Majesty, starting with all your loyal subjects in the land of women. Oh. So I think I'll send you home. Oh. There! That's the perfect spot! Come on! The three companions flew down to the riverbank. This was the place where they would try to catch the Scorpion Witch. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the witch's cave and get her to chase me. Then I'll lead her here, where you two will be waiting underwater. Why underwater? Because the best way to neutralize her fire breath is for you two to surprise her while she's chasing me and dunk her in the river. Your plan is huh? a good one. Let me help you catch the scorpion. Who are you? I'm Lotus Girl. I was sent by the goddess Quan Yin. And you'll help us defeat the Scorpion Witch? Yes, I will. But you should know that she's not really a witch. She's a magical scorpion who escaped from Quan Yin's garden, and she must be caught before she begins causing trouble. Too late. She's already caused a whole lot of trouble. What has she done? She's captured our friend Tripitaka and the Queen of the Land of Women. Then there's no time to lose. Let's put your plan into action right away. 
Scorpion witch, come out and face me! No need huh? to yell, monkey face, I'm here. Release both your prisoners this instant or you're gonna regret it. I've already released the queen, but as for Trippy Taka, I'll never release him. We're getting married. Oh, no, you're not! <laughs> <laughs> Come back here! Come and get me! You can't escape me, monkey! Monkey's plan was working perfectly. The witch had pursued him to the river. I've got you now! Bad news! We caught the scorpion witch and we were holding her underwater like you told us when she suddenly disappeared. Don't worry, I have her right here. Huh? Uh -huh. That's her? Yes, only she's back in her true form. And this is how she's going to stay. I'll keep her safely in the crystal ball until I return her to Kuan Yin's garden. And I assure you, she won't escape again. Thank you very much for catching her, my friends. Goodbye! Goodbye! After freeing Tripitaka, Monkey went to the palace, where the queen had locked herself in her chamber so no one would see her. Your Majesty, uh? I have excellent news. The Scorpion Witch has been defeated and Tripitaka has been set free. That's wonderful! And there's something else I suspect will make you very happy. <gasps> Now your face is as lovely as your heart is noble. Monkey flew to rejoin his companions. Mm -hmm. Look, Master, there he is! Were you able to help the Queen? Yes, I undid the scorpion spell and Her Majesty is beautiful once again. And Master, she sent you this jade amulet. She wanted oh. you to have it as a keepsake. A pilgrim must not take precious gifts, Monkey, so please leave the amulet here. All right. Anything you say. Hm. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Don't Yow! even think about it, Pigsy. Come on, we're leaving. Yow! Let go of my ear! And so, the jade amulet stayed in the land of women. As for Tripitaka, Monkey, Pigsy, and Sandy, they set out once more on their journey to the west. <laughs>